welcome back to my channel. My name is Julia, if you're new here. I wanted to do a blowout, but blowout with a hair straightener. I love how my hair looks whenever I get my hair blown out, but much like French braiding my hair, um, it's very difficult for me to do on my own. When I saw this hack, um, I figured I might as well try it because if it makes my life any easier, I wanna share it with you guys. I prepped my hair with this Wow Dream Coat. This is a sample size. I've only used this once. I didn't really see good results because I don't think I followed the directions, which I finally read today. So after my hair was kind of towel dried, it was still damp, I separated my hair in sections, used a generous amount of this, and then I blew it dry with the Revlon One Step Hair Curler. I have some hair rollers right now. I have like a couple different inch sizes. Um, and we're really just gonna wing this. I'm gonna separate my hair in a couple different sections with some clips and see how this turns out. Hairspray. But I think the key to a lasting blowout, something that you can like sleep in, wear the next day and it still looks good. All right, so I'm just gonna take my two fingers and then just kind of separate from top hair to bottom hair. Um, my hair straightener, it's just a G. I literally got it when Maybe high school, not sure. It's lasted me a long time. I'm starting with the bottom section, the section I care least about. Um, if you've been watching any of my videos, you've heard me say already, I'm a lazy girl. Um, I want this to go as quick as possible. So I'm not really gonna put curlers in on the bottom here. I'm just gonna, I gotta curl it inwards and then focus more of the attention on the top portion of my head. All right, I'm just gonna clip the back here so it doesn't bleed into this top portion. I feel like the most important part of a blowout is really like the face frame, framing pieces. So take another clip and clip that. So I don't really have a rhyme or reason um, of what sections I'm going to curl inwards versus out. Um, but I want to really focus more so on getting some heat really at the root. If I want like a true blowout effect, it needs to have some volume. Oh. I have some bobby pins in here and I find that that's just like the quickest way. And also, if you don't like your stuff to crease or your hair to crease when you have these in, because you know when you take out the rollers sometimes and you get that crease, always put the bobby pin or any sort of clip under here rather than on top. I think the hardest part for me about doing any sort of blowout is like not knocking over the rollers that I already have in. Like the girls who make such like a tight, concise <laughs> blowout with the rollers, I... You're doing everything right in life. I try to always start the roller like halfway there instead of like right at the end. Oh shit, I forgot to spray it. It's on. They're all kind of going in the same direction. They're all going towards my face, um, but I'm going to make most of the hair on the top here go away from my face so that it kind of balances out. So let's do the same thing on this side. <laughs> somewhat even section of my bangs, right? Everything behind my bangs right here, all this all this hair, this is gonna go by, this is going to go away from my face. Let's section this off. So I'm gonna start with these two sections here. And I'm gonna curl these away from my face. <laughs>
split your bangs into two is I'm going to take this section and I'm gonna curl it away from my face. These right here, I'm gonna curl inwards. putting um, the bottom sections of my hair just in a huge roller. This was a complete afterthought, um, but I just wanted to make sure I had a little bit of volume um, just so the bottom half doesn't completely fall flat and it looks like disproportional to the rest of my head. We did it. Guys, I'm excited. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna let this sit for honestly as long as I possibly can. It's been about like two hours. I don't really have a strategy for taking these out. I kind of just like try to roll them out and hope for the best. I guess one of the saddest parts is that like I'm just going to bed, <laughs> to bed after. <laughs> I've been watching Suits for the past two hours. Jordan and I recently started it. I know it's kind of an older show, but there's like eight seasons, so we are cruising through it. All right, I'm like, how is this turning out? All right, this is the most important part. Okay, I think it was, that looks really good. I think it's like a lot. Holy Hannah. I'm so excited. Okay, this is like the best blowout I've ever given myself. I feel like I got the most body to my hair out of any other technique that I've used before. Okay, well, I'm very pleased with how it turned out. I highly recommend it. It's such a damn tragedy that I'm just going to bed, but you know what? I'm gonna spray it. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of whey hair oil. I said I can't get over the volume. There you have it. Blow out with a hair straightener. I don't know if I'm just really tired right now or this is like the best my hair has looked in a long time, but I'm pumped. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.